So next, let's move into the honeybee itself. Um, the honeybees that we work are not native to the United States. They're native to, to Europe primarily. However, we do have uh, Africanized bees in Texas, especially in the southern parts of Texas. Um, and those have intermated, so they're hybridized between European and Africanized. Um, there are three castes of bees, no matter if it's European or African. Um, the worker, which is the, the ones that do all the maintenance of the hive, they collect the honey, they collect the pollen. Um, they're an all-female cast. Next, you have the queen, who is responsible for laying the eggs and using uh, and having a pheromone communication that keeps the hive kind of going. And then finally, you have the drone, which are the male cast, and those are used for reproduction. The next thing I want to talk about is the brood, which is where you will find the different diseases of the honeybee. Um, there are three types of brood that you'll find in the hive. The queen, the worker, and finally, the drone brood. And as you can see by the picture, the, drone, the queens look like little peanuts that hang off of the, uh, of the brood comb. Second are the workers, which are more flat to the comb. And then finally, the drones, which have a very high domed brood um, cells. Next, I want to talk about the frames you'll find in the hive. The frames are generally um, formatted in, in the same way. On the outside of the frame, the bees will store the honey and it'll be either nectar that's being ripened to, into honey, and if it's nectar, it'll be, look like water in the cells. Honey is actually covered and sealed. Um, the next layer in will generally be the pollen ring. Um, pollen is generally brightly colored, yellows, um, greens, that type of thing, very noticeable. And then at the very center of the frame is generally where the brood is, and you'll have both uncapped and capped brood. And so that's where you'll look for the diseases like American fowl brood and European fowl brood. Next, I want to talk just a real briefly about beekeeper safety. Um, it's very important when you're working bees to always approach from behind. Bees are defensive in nature. They want to protect their hive. So if you approach from the front, the guard bees will um, fly out and buzz you and, and possibly attack and sting you. You also want to use smoke before you enter the hive to calm the bees, and then as you're working the bees, to continue to use smoke. Um, the other thing is, if you're not used to working bees, work with a partner. That way, if something happens, you're not stuck out in the beehive or incapacitated where you can't get help. Um, always have your escape routes identified. And then finally, if you need to have it on hand, an EpiPen that's prescribed by a doctor, please make sure that's readily accessible by you and your partner. We don't want to have any accidents out there in the bee yard.